How good is my design? Imagine that you work for the company Apple as an interaction designer. You and your colleagues have just finished the design and development of a brand new product that you now have to introduce to Tim Cook, Apple's CEO. At the moment you are anticipating his judgment. Will he like the product or not? Will he think future users will like the product or not? How do people judge the goodness of a product? What kind of evaluation criteria are people relying on? In order to answer these questions, one should understand what is a good interactive product first. In this presentation, I will describe the history of evaluation in the domain of human-computer interaction. This background will allow you to understand the relativity of the answer that can be given to my questions. Let us first go back to the 40s and 50s. At that time, computers were large machines, primarily used to perform complex calculations. These machines were considered as good when they were reliable, meaning that engineers could minimize system fault time and quickly repair errors. In the 50s and 60s, the advent of the early programming languages promised significantly more power and flexibility. Computer systems became increasingly more stable and reliable, and consequently, the evaluation emphasis shifted away from how long a system would perform, or the system's reliability, to how quickly it would perform, the so-called system performance. At that time, a good product was typically perceived as a product with high processing speed. In the 60s and 70s, Technological evolutions introduced non-specialists to computer tasks other than programming. A computer was then considered as successful if these non-specialists could use it at a low error rate, with ease of learning and without too much frustration. A major point is that in this third evaluation phase, the main concern shifted from computer performance to user performance. So gradually, the user-friendliness of computers became the most important criterion to judge the goodness of an interactive system. So this was a judgment based on the end-user perspective and experiences. From the 70s to 2000s, we saw tremendous technological improvements. Just consider the graphical user interface or the WIMP interaction style. And WIMP stands for Windows, Icons, menus and pointing devices, such as the mouse. Since then, we expected that even novice users could easily use the systems with minimal training and support. A good system equaled an intuitive, user-friendly system. Over the last decades, personal, social, mobile, cloud computing have become increasingly pervasive. And these technologies have drastically altered the context in which we use computers. For the evaluation of interactive systems, it has delineated a shift to a new phase, in which the more, more emotional and non-instrumental aspects of computer use are emphasized. Bringing this back to my initial question, how good is my design? While well, living in today's so-called user experience phase, we may expect that both the CEO and the future users will evaluate the new product not only on its pragmatic features, such as the usability of the interface, but also on its hedonic qualities, and judge whether it was designed for fun and engagement as well.